Welcome to Tipping Tube's Cheltenham Festival Tips. 10 UK trained horses for you to follow. This year's Cheltenham Festival in March is going to be like no other we have ever experienced. It's looking increasingly likely that there will be no or very limited crowds at the Blue Ribbon event for national hunt racing. And there's a distinct possibility that the Irish horses may not be able to make their annual journey too as they normally do. So here at Tipping Tube our team have found 10 UK trained horses for you to have a look at. Each one a decent each way price in the current anti-post markets with most bookmakers. And horses that will certainly shorten in price should there be no Irish Raiders this year. The festival will be taking place from the 16th to the 19th of March. So sit back and have a look at which horses our team have identified for you to have a bet on. And if you are feeling brave, have an anti-post bet on the tips yourself. If you are going to have a bet, try to bet with a bookie that offers non-runner no bet, meaning that if for whatever reason your horse does not run in that particular race, then you will get your money back. So here we go, in a race order. Horse number one, running in the Supreme Novices Hurdle, race one, day one. Won last year by the Nicky Henderson trained Shishkin. The tipping tube tip is My Drogo at around 20 to 1. The five year old gelding by Milan is trained by Dan Skelton. He finished second in a Cheltenham bumper in October before winning both his starts over hurdles, including last time out at Ascot in the Grade 2 Supreme Novices trial. Horse number two running in the Arkle, race two on day one. This race was won last year by the 16 to 1 shot, put the kettle on. The tipping tube tip is all mankind at 10 to 1. This four year old is another from the Skelton Yard and finished third in the Triumph Hurdle at last year's festival. He's won both his chase starts to date and looking good in the process and won't be far away come the final fence in March. Make sure you comment below if you agree or indeed disagree with our picks as we want to hear from you. Moving on to horse number three in the champion hurdle itself, the highlight on day one. Won last year by Epitont. The tipping tube tip is Silver Streak at around 12 to 1. This seven-year-old gelding, trained by Evan Williams, hacked up at Kempton in the Christmas hurdle, beating the reigning champ Epiton by six and a half lengths. Now it is quite possible we saw a below par Epiton, but I would rather back Silver Streak each way at 12 to 1 than lump on Epiton at odds on. Well, that's day one covered. If you've not yet done so, make sure you subscribe to this channel. It's free and you can get access to tips in every single race held in the UK and Ireland every single day. Now on to day two, the Wednesday. Horse number four, running in the Ballymore Novices Hurdle. The opening race on the second day, won last year by the very exciting Envoy Allen. The tipping tube tip is Metier at 16 to 1. Rated 90 on the flat for Irish trainer Andy Slattery, this five-year-old gelding has been a revelation since joining Harry Fry, winning all three of his hurdling starts by a combined distance of just under 30 lengths. If he goes for the Ballymore, he has a great each way shout. Next up, horse number five, running in the RSA chase, race two on day two. Won last year by the fast finishing champ who flew up the famous hill. The tipping tube tip is GA Law at 25 to 1. Trained by Jamie Snowden, this four year old gelding by Sindar won his first three starts over fences before finishing third to all mankind at Sandown in December. He represents a great value tip at a huge price. Horse number six running in the champion chase, the highlight on the second day. Won last year by Politolog, with the two to five favourite Defi de Soy only managing fourth. The tipping tube tip is Noob Negra at 12 to 1. 
Now this is beginning to sound like a Dan Skelton tipping line, but this six-year-old comfortably beat Altior in the Desert Orchid chase at Kempton over the festive period, and he has a great chance of reaching the frame at a double-digit price. That's the action for days one and two done, and we have four tips to go. Remember to turn on your notifications for this channel so that you can get a prompt when we've got something very important to pass on to you. This can be done very easily by simply clicking on the notification bell on our channel. And I'd hate for you to miss out on any winning action, and I know you don't want to miss any winners either, do you? We move on to day three, the Thursday. Horse number seven, running in the Ryanair Chase, race three on day three. Won last year by the Willie Mullins trained Min. The tipping tube tip is St. Calvados at 10 to 1. The eight year old gelding, trained by Harry Whittington, was a neck behind Min in last year's renewal. He is nailed on for a frame finish if lining up having finished fourth in the King George at Kempton on Boxing Day. There you go, just the one tip for the third day. And as you may know, half of all money raised by this YouTube channel will go to the Injured Jockeys Fund. For without the jockeys risking life and limb on a daily basis, we would not have the sport we love. So the more folks you share this channel to, the better. Why not take a bit of time to visit the Injured Jockeys Fund website where there are a host of items that you can buy to help the cause even further. The site URL is www.injuredjockeys.co.uk That's www.injuredjockeys.co.uk Now on to the big day itself, the Friday, the fourth and final day of the festival and horse number eight in the Triumph Hurdle, race one on day four. Won last year by Burning Victory, another from the all-conquering Willie Mullins yard. The tipping tube tip is Nassalam at 16 to one. He's been very impressive in winning two juvenile hurdles for trainer Gary Moore since arriving from France. He was second on his latest start to the David Pipe trained Adagio at Chepstow. The pair were well clear of the field and the four-year-old has a cracking frame chance at a big price and could possibly make up for the last flight agony of Goshen for the yard in last year's race. Horse number nine running in the Gold Cup, the highlight of the festival, won for the last two years by Album Photo. The tipping tube tip is Champ at 12 to 1. A winner in the RSA chase last year, coming from 10 lengths down at the last. A fascinating contender if lining up. And finally, horse number 10, the running in the Fox Hunter chase. The race after the Gold Cup run over the same track and trip. The tipping tube tip is Hazel Hill at around 25 to 1. The 12 year old won this very race last year, aged 11, and priced at 7 to 2 last year, and is too big a price this year to ignore for a repeat performance. So, there you go 10 UK runners for you to have a look at, and at the prices, you won't need much success to show a profit. If you are going to follow the advice and have a bet, go each way, take your price, try to get non runner, no bet. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video and that we can find you a few festival winners in 2021. Good luck for all the bets you make and have a great day as always. Bye for now.